With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is asking give four differences between the auxins and the gibberellins. Now before we start with the discussion of it, let us know what are auxins and gibberellins. So auxins and gibberellins, they are placed into the category of phytohormones. Phytohormones means the chemicals which are found in the plants and they will do some specific action. Phyto means plants and hormones means the chemical that will bring in the action. Now both auxins and gibberellin they fall into a specific category and that category is the category of growth promoters. Means they both will be promoting the growth of the plants. Now we will move ahead and we will see the differences between both. First of all, the very important thing which is noticed in the case of auxins that they always cause optical dominance. Apical dominance means the shoot is continuously growing longitudinally or on the longitudinal axis because it has high concentration of auxin at its tip. And this is basically responsible for increasing the longitudinal height of the plant. But in the case of gibberellins, apical dominance is not noticed. Apical dominance is not noticed due to gibberellins. So gibberellins, they are different in their action, but they will never cause apical dominance. Now, auxins, they are causing stem elongation. This is one effect. But other than the stem elongation, gibberellins also do stem elongation, but they are not concentrated at the apical position. Very important thing, which I explained in the point one. Besides stem elongation, seed germination is also being done by them. And this phenomenon where they increase the sudden height of the dwarf plant, this bolting is noticed in the case of gibberellins. So I have included bolting into the point number two because it is related to the stem elongation. So you will not include bolting in auxin because we generally speak like auxin they help in stem elongation. Gibberellins also do but we call it a special name has been given to them and that is known as bolting. Bolting increases the height of the dwarf varieties which is very very important. Now this auxin is generally found in the higher plants but gibberellins they are found both in the higher plants as well and they are found in plant fungi as well. Another important difference between auxin and gibberellin is that auxin application or if it is present into the plant, it causes the appearance of female plants. Means the flowers will be more female in nature. Means more with gynoecium. But if you apply gibberellins or if the concentration of gibberellin is high inside the plant, then it will cause the appearance of male flowers. Or we can call that male plants will be more. So unisexuality is being maintained by auxins and gibberellins both. Now we will see what are the examples to both. So IAA which is the abbreviation and it stands for indole 3 acetic acid. It is an example of auxin. Now gibberellins are generally abbreviated as gibberellic acid which is GA. There are various chemicals which fall into this category and we separate them by writing as gibberellic acid 1, gibberellic acid 3. So there are others also but these are the most prominent ones. So auxins and gibberellins they both are the growth promoters but yes their effect is dissimilar. Hope this helps. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.